Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb. Today's Morning Musings is Be Bigger Than. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts to my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while ago, and the world has completely changed since then. So if I encounter anything that is out of date, I will give you the most recent information. At the end, I will summarize the topic based on everything that's going on in the world today. Also, I have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. Be Bigger Than. I wrote this at Christmas time, so we're going into the holidays, which brings up all sorts of childhood stuff. Family dynamics arise, and suddenly you're viewing things through your memories as if you were a little kid again. There's a card in the transformation game that poses, what if you were bigger than your problem? It's a helpful inquiry. Asking yourself this when facing something over overwhelming, accesses your expanded self, the essence of who you are that I nowadays call consciousness. Suddenly you are bigger than the dilemma in front of you. Other choices and responses become apparent. Your body calms down because you as consciousness are there. Then there's a saying, be the bigger man for when you choose the high road or be the more magnanimous party in a disagreement. You have to step above the need to be right. Your own struggle and emotion and victim stance. You have to be the grown up. I hate that. I'd really rather have somebody else be bigger right now. I'd like someone to cut me some slack, to give me a break, to step up to the plate for me and be my grown up. And it ain't happening. They are in their own story, their own stress and their own reasons. In truth, no one can be bigger than you as consciousness, unless you make yourself very, very small. This is different than being ill or incapacitated or have someone assist you or allow someone to give you a helping hand. It's pretty neat to notice who shows up in such circumstances. The greater you as consciousness created challenges and created support as well. It's just not always the support you expected. You can't make others the grown-up, even if they're older than you. You, at any moment, are at choice to be bigger, to be small, to be greater, to be lesser, even around your parents. Believe me, it's a lot less painful to be the bigger person. Being the grown-up is far more empowering than the other way around. It doesn't mean that you don't feel the injustice or that you have to numb out. You as consciousness can parent yourself. You can let the part of you that is hurting be that way, and you can step forward and respond to whatever is going on. It's comforting for your inner child, your smaller self, your wounded one, to know that you as consciousness are in charge. Put your smaller self in the back seat, where the car seats are legally supposed to be, and let your adult self do the driving. Remember this as you go into the holidays, and you'll have a much more enjoyable time. One of the things that I said there was, when you're accessing yourself as consciousness, it calms your body down because you are there. And one way to think of your body is like your, not just your vehicle, but like your horse that you have dragged through all sorts of trails without any preparation and sometimes just got off the horse and left it there out in the desert or whatever. So when you as consciousness, when you are focused on bringing yourself as consciousness into your form, it relaxes your body because suddenly there's a rider to the horse. There is somebody who knows what's going on and it takes practice. We're not used to operating as consciousness. Nobody was told about this when we were little. Nobody was trained this way. It's really an intuitive thing and I do have some techniques techniques that can be helpful for that. But I also have to be compassionate with my smaller self, which really would like somebody else to be doing this or taking over this. As I'm thinking about a particular circumstance right now, I can't imagine anyone else doing it because I'm the one with all the experience and strength and awareness. So I know for myself is when I access myself as consciousness, everything just gets a whole lot easier. It makes it easier to navigate life, to make decisions, and to take actions where the the entire universe reorganizes in your favor. So if you like these videos, please click the like button and subscribe. And that way you're telling YouTube to share these far and wide and get this out to someone who really needs to see this information. And you can also share it with your family and friends and on your social media. And if you'd like a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique and it'll give you expanded perspective of your life and have you really feel what it's like to be as consciousness looking down on the playing field of your life. 
And if you want some manifestation techniques, Manifesting Money and Miracles is my self-study course where you learn how to embody specific frequencies which create changes in every aspect of your life. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. There you can learn about my individual sessions where I take a look at you as consciousness and everything that's going on in your life today. And then I can answer any questions that you might have, whether it's about your relationships, about your job, about money or finances, about your living situation. I can also talk to deceased loved ones. I can see what's coming up in the future. And it's all recorded just for you. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself and learn how to navigate as consciousness with the help of some consciousness techniques, Manifesting Money and Miracles is good preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques so that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-nukum.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.